name is Ali, aka The Unperson, and in today's video, I'm going to use my modular effects rack to process my electric guitar. I've been playing guitar for a very long time, and I've always been drawn towards guitar pedals, especially kind of crazy guitar pedals, and also having a pedal board, which is quite big and complicated. And that's probably what's led me towards having an effect track in the Euro rack world. And so the plan today is to just try and come out with some, some nice modular and guitar ideas and create some, some nice, cool sounds. If that sounds fun, then please stick around. Also, please subscribe if you have not already. I very much appreciate it. Okay, let's check it out. So the first idea that I would like to explore is sound on sound, which is a kind of delay based looping where you can sort of infinitely layer sounds on top of each other. And this is something I did a lot when I was learning guitar because it allowed you to practice your soloing and your scales, but also it was a great way to very quickly try out ideas and sort of multi-track compositions. So to achieve this, I'm going to use the Nautilus, which has been clocked by PAMS and has the feedback all the way up at infinity. And that means if I start playing notes, it will kind of loop those notes, but keep the level sitting at a nice steady level. So let's try that out. And if you come up with something that you like the sound of, you can hit the freeze button to kind of save it. And that allows you to then play over the top. And because I have the Z5000 delay or multi effects before the Nautilus in the chain, it means I can add some delay to my signal. By the way, I also have a fair amount of lo-fi effect coming from the effects aid. Something else that I thought would be a fun idea, which would be a lot more difficult to achieve using guitar pedals, is then pitching this entire composition down, which I'm going to do using the data bender. have beads being clocked by pams 
set two octaves above to give those kind of high pitched shimmering effects. little thing I wanted to show here was if I now were to unfreeze the Nautilus because the feedback is at infinity everything that I have played will have been recorded in there and so you're gonna get a cacophony of pure noise oh no I just I just cleared it you're gonna have to take my word for it So next we're going to take a look at some wah wah style effects and the way I've got this patched up is that my guitar output is going into the Pico input which is then being multipled. One output is going into the effects chain and the other is going into the trig in on maths which is then modulating my UVCF filter which means that anytime I play a note maths should get triggered. <laughs> like so. It's kind of like an auto wah. And it is quite um, pressure sensitive. If you play lightly, it won't get triggered. But we could also have uh, the maths channel cycling instead. Thank <laughs> you. 
And it does go into the audio range. It's going to sound quite crazy. Crazy is a lot of fun. And it actually starts kind of distorting or crushing or something <laughs> when it gets to this kind of this audio rate level. happen if I was to modulate the both input. It might be fun, it might not. Kind of ring mod style. Back on the delay. It's got that bit crush sounds that I like. But we could also have nice slow modulations. points if you can name the track. Managed to create some sort of distortion by running the guitar through maths. And I found that you can really change the character of the distortion by moving the rise and fall amounts. This has got a much more sort of fuzz sound. some octave stuff happening. <laughs> there we go. Bring in some filter modulation. And you 
kind of have a, a guitar synth. Bit of data bender. sounding. And I would love to try this with an oscillator. So I thought I'd finish off with a Pink Floyd style drone, which I created with a lot of delay and a lot of reverb. And then I used the volume control on the guitar to fade in a chord and hit freeze on the Nautilus. And that allows me to play over the top. enjoyed today's explorations of guitar and Eurorack. If you have, please do leave a like and a comment. And I have a Patreon account where I upload extra videos and sample packs. And there are some affiliate links down below. If you're going to treat yourself to some lovely new gear, and you use one of those links, then I get a little cut from the sale at no expense to yourself. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you all later. <laughs>